Hey, what's up, y'all? So today's pick a card reading was requested, all right? And it is, why is your crush enamored with you, all right? I have three pals for you to choose from today. Pal one is the Lapis Lazuli Pyramid Crystal, all right? Pal two is the Lapis Lazuli Mini Wand Crystal, and pal three is the Lapis Lazuli Crystal, okay? I will be sure to timestamp each pal and leave it below in the description box. So, feel free to choose more than one pal because more than one pal can be for you. Also, what you may not find in one pal, you may find in another pal. So, always, always feel free to choose more than one pal. All right. Now, let's get into it, baby. All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 1, the Lapis Lazuli Pyramid Crystal, let's get into it, baby, and let's see why is your crush so enamored by you, all right? Your first card is the Four of Wands, okay? It says the Four of Fire, but the Four of Fire represents the Four of Wands, all right? We also have the Sun card. Your next card is the Three of Pentacles, all right? It says Three of Earth, but the Three of Earth represents the Three of Pentacles. We also have the Queen of Air. It represents the Queen of Swords. We have the Balance card, all right? The Balance card is represented as the Temperance card. Now, for your Oracle cards, we have the Differences card. The judgment card and the judgment card says i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges we also have the pride card and it says i love myself and i see myself in everyone all right we also have the by the book card okay it says by the book and last but not least, we have the Angel of Strength card, all right? So let's just jump right into it, pal one, all right? Why is your crush so enamored by you, all right? So I will start off by saying, pal one, this person, your crush, loves how authentic you are, all right? With the Queen of Swords, I definitely feel like your crush Loves how authentic you are, all right? How you're not afraid to be yourself. And they also love how straightforward you are and how you don't sugarcoat things. You just simply tell it like it is. And they really respect that about you, pal one. Yes, they really do. Um, because they see you as being a very, you know, honest, fair trustworthy person and they really admire that about you another thing that your crush really loves about you pal one is that you're non-judgmental and that you are very acceptant of others they also love your strength all right is what i'm getting with the angel of strength card they love your strength and how fiercely independent you are i feel like your crush see you as being someone who doesn't look for others to make you happy because your happiness comes from within all right so they really admire that about you. They really like that about you. They also love your light, all right, your optimism, and your positivity, all right? So all in all, pal, one, what I'm getting is that your crush, your crush really see you as being solid, all right? Your crush see you as being really solid. And um, with the four of wands, in a love reading, this usually indicates a marriage or commitment that will soon take place. So I feel like your crush wants a deeper commitment with you for sure. All right. They may want to take things to the next level and get out of that crush phase. I feel like they see you as being their um, equal 
And they love how you match their energy, all right? So this crush definitely see you as being an equal, you know, or whatnot. And this crush, I feel like definitely wants to get out of that crush phase. They want to come speak their truth to you or something. Or, you know, for some of you, if this is a friend, get out of that friend zone or whatever the case may be. Um, they definitely feel like you're their soulmate. Um, they feel like you two are soulmates and that you both would be very prosperous together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting so far with the cards that I have, pal one. All right. I'm trying to make this as, you know, short, sweet, straight to the point today. All right. But um, let me get a few cards from my deck before I end your reading with a Zodiac card. All right. So I have two of my decks that I will be pulling from today. All right. So we're starting with the first deck. All right. So we have, oh, okay. That's too many. So we have love your curves. So I feel like your crush really love your curves for those of you who are curvy. Or if you're not, your crush just really love your body, your body frame, your body type, whatever the case may be. I spy your crush loves to watch you. They love to watch you when they think you're not watching or they think you're not looking so this could be um on social media your crush watches you a lot for those of you who have social media some type of social media presence some type of social media platform facebook um instagram snapchat um <laughs> I'm trying to think, y'all. Y'all, I don't have no social media like that, so I don't, I don't know. YouTube, whatever the case may be, I definitely feel like your crush watch you online for those of you who have some type of social media account or online presence. We have the Inventive Albert Einstein card of mind, which is dealing with creativity. So your crush may really like your creativity, like that you're creative. Yeah, I definitely feel like with the three of pentacles, your crush see you as being very talented. Um, your crush, yeah, confirmation. Your crush feel like you spread positivity. They love the positivity that you spread. Your crush also see you as being a real one. Someone they can trust, they can confide in. We also have made in the 90s. All right, the 90s could be significant for some of you. Some of you may have been born in the 90s. Some of you may have graduated in the 90s. That year, the 90s, those years could be very significant to some of you, all right? Something could have happened in the 90s for some of you. We have tattoos. Your tattoos are very significant. Could be, you know, something about your tattoos. I feel like your crush love your tattoos, okay? You can have one or two tattoos and your crush love your tattoos, maybe where they're placed their place at for some of you you can have a lot of tattoos but it's something about your tattoos or a tattoo that you have that your crush really likes for those of you who have tattoos your crush likes you know really is drawn to your lips your your crush is attracted to your lips with the sexy lips card and the number 420 could be significant to some of you or some of you could smoke weed marijuana mary jane it's all the same thing okay baby that flipped around okay so your crush see you as being 10 10 perfect your crush rate you as being a 10 all right your crush is very attracted to you all right definitely they wrote you, they rate you a 10 all right a 10 out of a 10 all right i see mature your crush see you as being mature or very mature for your age all right Your crush thinks you're rare. They feel like you're rare. And we have big old booty. Your crush really, um, they love that booty, baby. They love that booty, all right? They really do, all right? So let me get a few cards from this other deck, all right? Before I end y'all reading with a Zodiac card. Let's see what, what wants to come out of this deck, okay? Of mine. I'm pulling from two different decks of mine today, y'all. Peaceful. So it's something about you or your energy that is very peaceful. They also like what hit the floor is outspoken. They like how outspoken you are. For some of you, you may be curvy. Your crush loves how curvy you are. They love your vibes. Good vibes. Yeah, they love your vibes. They love your energy power. 
Yes, we have good energy. So your crush really loves your energy. I feel like there's confirmation to the sun card. Some of you may be a blonde because we have the blonde card coming out. Or some of you, your crush really likes when you dye your hair blonde. You wear blonde wigs or extensions or something. Some of you may have a nose ring and your crush really likes your nose ring, okay? Some of you may be a boss. Your crush could be a boss, all right? But I'm getting that some of you may be a boss. They may like how you take lead. They may like your boss mentality or whatever. And your crush thinks you're down to earth, all right? All right, let's see. We have boss that came out again, okay? So boss came out two times. Your crush could see you as being bossy, but they like that about you. Or your crush feel like you're a boss or you have a boss mentality. Some of you could be an entrepreneur, all right? Some of you may be spiritual and your crush like that as well. Spiritual or religious and your crush like that. They like your faith that you have, all right? They like how strong you are. This is what flipped over in my deck strong so they like your strength they really love your strength and last but not least they love your confidence as well they're attracted to that about you they like how fun and exciting you are as well they like the way you dress okay and your crush follows you okay so if you do have a social media platform we have followers your crush definitely follow you on social media right but they definitely follow you online. Okay, power. So let's get into it, power one. We're about to, you know, I'm about I'm about to end our reading with a zodiac card, okay? To see what signs you or your crush, you know, are, okay. So some of you may be a Leo or you have a Leo placement in your chart. We do have fire that came out. First card is fire. Some of you may be a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries. Or your crush may be a fire sign, okay? Some of you may be a Leo or your crush may be a Leo or you or your crush may have a Leo placement in your chart, all right? We have Aquarius. You or your crush may be in Aquarius, okay? Your crush really see themselves. They feel like they could collaborate with you, all right? They definitely want to collaborate with you, whether they have spoken this to you or not, all right? All right, and we have Moons. You or your crush may be a Cancer, or you or your crush may have a Cancer placement in your 12th house. Or your 11th house. And we also have 7th house. Okay. Period. And on the bottom of the deck, we have Taurus. So you or your crush may be a Taurus. Okay. Or have a Taurus placement in your chart. Now, let's get some numbers. All right. The number 4. The number 3. The number 19. The number 36. The number 14. And the number 50 may be significant to some of you. All right. Now, the numbers I named could be your life path number, a lucky number, your age, birthday, birthday month, or someone close to you age. But that completes your message. That completes your reading. Pal, one, if it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If you did not, feel free to check out any other other pals. All right. I thank you so, so much, pal. One, until next time. All right, so for those of you who chose Pal 2, the Lapis Lazuli, Mini One Crystal, let's get into it, baby. And let's see, why is your crush so enamored by you, all right? Now, your first card is the Nine of Water, a.k.a. the Nine of Cups, and it says wishes, wishes, dreams, and happiness, okay? Your next card is the Queen of Earth, a.k.a. the Queen of Pentacles, and it says... Gracious, practical, and capable, okay? Your next card is the wheel, baby. Yes, the wheel of fortune. And it says luck, progress, and change, okay? Your next card is the page of air, a.k.a. the page of swords. And it says truthful, analytical, and outspoken. Okay, y'all. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
We also have the Wise Counselor card, and it represents um, the Hierophant, and it says Belonging, Learning, and Tradition. We also have the Confidence card for your Oracle cards, the Friendship card, and it says, I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason, okay? We also have the Happiness card, and it says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, all right? We also have no place like home card. And last but not least, we have the thinking man, all right? So let's get into it, pal, too, all right? I feel like this person really loves your mindset, okay? Your crush really loves your mindset, pal, too. Um, in the way that you think, okay? They really love your mindset in the way that you think, okay? For sure. Um... They see you as being someone who has a good head on your shoulders. They also love your confidence and how you're not afraid to speak your truth or what's on your mind, okay? They also like the fact that you're spiritual or religious, but you're still down to earth. This person see you as being the best of both worlds is what I'm getting, both spiritual and practical, okay? Okay. You're very in tune with your spirituality, along with using practicality, okay? Basically, pal, to you know how to use logic with your intuition, okay? Something that everybody don't know how to do, okay? And this person really admired that about you. They never met someone like you is what I'm getting, okay? They never met someone like you before, and they feel like they can learn some things from you as well. I also feel like this person gets so happy whenever they see you or whenever they're around you. So, like, for instance, they don't have to see you in person, okay? For Because before some of you, I feel like your crush never met you face-to-face. -face. That's for some of you. All right. For some of you, you could work with this person. You may be friends with this person. You may talk to this person. OK, but for others of you, you never even met this person face to face. But it doesn't matter if you met this person face to face or not. I feel like they love your presence. So for some of you, uh, a lot of you, I'm getting that your crush like to watch if you have social media they love to watch your social media account they love when you post they love to see you online okay they um get very excited when they see you have made a new post or you post a picture or something on your social media they get so happy and excited whenever they see you if it's in person for some of you but others of you i'm definitely getting that it's online when they see your online presence they get so excited you know what I'm saying? And for others of you, they get so excited whenever they're around you, all right? This person thinks you're very naturally attractive, pal, too, all right? And they love that about you, okay? You know, even if you wear makeup, weave, whatever, baby, this person don't care. Somehow they have seen you in your natural form, you know? Maybe sometimes you're the type of person where sometimes you wear makeup when you want to, so when you feel like it, sometimes you don't, or you wear weed when you, but this person definitely has seen you in that, your natural form, and they love that, the fact that you still look good in your natural form, okay? They love that, that you look very good in your natural form. They see you in your natural form, and they love that about you. Um, I also feel like... um. With the Nine of Cups, I feel like this person dreams about you a lot, pal, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm getting with the Nine of Cups. They, you're, This person dreams about you a lot. I also feel like they love that, you know, you value yourself. You have high standards and you have integrity, you know, and they really admire and respect that about you as well you know all in all pal to your crush see you as being marriage material and i feel like they can also see themselves being the one to marry you yeah they definitely daydream fantasize you know about you a lot okay what could be if they you know if they take it to the next level or whatever they they love to be in, they be in their heads a lot about you pal too okay um they see you as being definitely wish fulfillment, okay? With the wheel and the nine of cups, 
They strongly feel like your wish fulfillment is something about you that feels like home to this person. Feels very familiar or they feel like you, they just feel at home or like they can be themselves. There's something about you, your personality, where they feel like they can be themselves around. Okay, is what I'm getting. Um, they feel like they will be lucky to have you for sure, you know, and that's just what I'm strongly getting. So, pal, too, before I end reading, I'm trying not to let this, you know, my reading be too long today, y'all. I can't let it be too, too long. But, you know, so that's why we're going to get straight, you know, to the point today. Okay. So let's get some more messages to see why is your crush so enamored by you or with you, pal, too. Okay. And I got two decks of mine that I will be pulling from today, okay? So, the all these, you know, I have four cards that fell out so far, but one card flipped over for me to see, and it says, keep it sexy. They love how you keep it sexy, pal, too. And they like everything about you. These two cards flipped over for me to see, pal, too. Your crush feel like you keep it sexy. They love it. They love how you keep it sexy. They like everything about you. Your crush is just... They admire everything. Yes, they admire everything about you. Admirers. Yes. Oh, your crush. It says, I can see myself having a future with you. Your crush can see themselves having a future with you for sure. That's just confirmation. We have the 420 card. Your crush. Listen, 420 could be significant to some of you. Some of you may smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane, and your crush may like that because for some of you, your crush do the same damn thing. Okay. And they like that. <laughs> But if it's not you, maybe your crush, you know, smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane, Mary Jane. True to you, your crush like how self-empowered you are and how true you keep it, how real you keep it to yourself, with yourself. Fresh, your, your crush may like your style. Yeah, follow your heart. Your crush like, they love how you follow your heart. Your crush love how you spread positivity, you know. They love the positivity that you spread. Addictive flipped over in my deck. Your crush may be addicted to you, okay? Your energy, something about you that your crush is just very addicted to, okay, pal two? Mm. Mindset on the bottom of the deck, confirmation. Your crush love your mindset, pal two, and that's just that on that, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's see what else want to come out. Spirits. What's that? Mm. Confidence, your crush love your confidence, your crush love your smile. We have the nice smile card. And the crush love your boobs for my women or your chest for my men. And it loving. Okay, so maybe it's something about you. You just you're very loving and your crush like that. You know, they feel some type of warmth for you from you, all right. They love how loving you are, all right. So, y'all, let me get a few cards from my other deck before I y'all reading. I got another deck. Let's pull some more cards from that, okay? Okay. Oops. So let's pull a few more cards from out of the deck, y'all, before I end your reading with a Zodiac card. Nice body. Okay, so your crush, they love your body. It don't matter what size you are, baby. We got confidence again. Your crush loves your confidence, okay? Your, cr your crush love how charming you are, magnetic you are, how true you keep it to yourself, your your crush love how trustworthy you are. It's something about you because we do have the page of swords, okay? And it's just something about you. The page of swords represents truthful, being truthful, analytical, and outspoken. Your crush love this about you. They love how truthful you are, okay? And how true you keep it to yourself. They really love that. They love your nice body, okay? And your crush definitely see you as being charming, pal, um, too, okay? Positive. Your crush love your positivity, Your crush may look up to you. Your crush feel like you're smart, okay? Child, we got truthful. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, wow. So listen, okay, pal two. I just want you to know that it's very clear 
that your crush see you as being a real one, okay? We have truthful, we have the realest, and we have true to you. Your crush love how real you keep it. They love that about you. They love it. They absolutely love it. They love that you're outspoken. They love that you don't keep things to yourself and that you, you don't mind vocalizing how you feel. They love how real you keep it, okay? Your crush may look up to you a little bit, okay? They see you as being very charming. They feel like you have a way with words. They love it. They love it. I feel like they love your voice as well. And then smart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your crush really loves your brain. That's just confirmation. They love your mind, your mindset, the way you think. Period. Did something flip over? What's that? Mm -mm, honey. Some of you may be a blonde or you have, you know, your crush may love when you color, dye your hair blonde. We, nose ring. Some of you may have a nose ring as well. Okay. We also have boss. Okay. Two times. Something about you is bossy or you may be an entrepreneur and you're... Your, your crush love that. They love how down to earth you are as well. They love how ambitious you are as well. Let me get a couple more cards, Spirit. They love your strength, period. For some of you, you have some ex-lovers. They love all these qualities about you. They want you back, all right? And that's just that on that, okay? You definitely do. Your crush love your ears, your boobs, okay? That's just confirmation to the fact that your crush love your body, pal, too, okay? Your crush really loves your body. For some of you, you have an ex or some exes that are still crushing on you that would love to have you back, all right? <clears throat> all right. Oh, what's that? For some of you, you may be a Libra or your crush may be a Libra or one of you may have a Libra placement in your chart. What's that flipped over? You or your crush may be a cancer, or you or your crush may be a cancer, or have a cancer placement in your chart. Could be in your 10th house, okay? Or your 11th house, okay? Let me get a couple more cards. <laughs> Some of you could be an earth sign or have an earth sign placement in your chart. Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have Venus, all right, all right. Venus represents Taurus. Some of you may be a Taurus or have a Taurus placement in your chart. Some of you may be a Scorpio or have a Scorpio placement in your chart. And remember, if this is not your sign, this could be your crush signs, all right? And we have Virgo. You or your crush may be a Virgo. We we'll have a Virgo placement in your chart. All right, all right, all right. Let's get some numbers before we end your reading. Pile two, okay. The number five, the number nine, the number ten, or the number forty-two could be significant to see to some of you. Also, the number forty-six could be significant to some of you. All right. The numbers I name could be your life path number, lucky number, your age, birthday, or your birthday month. All right. But that completes your reading. That completes your message. Pile two. If it resonated with you, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If you did not, feel free to check out any other of the pals. All right. I thank you so, so much for your time. Until next time. All right. All right, so for those of you who chose PAL 3, let's get into it, baby, and let's see why is your crush so enamored by you, okay? Yes, for those of you who chose the Lapis Lazuli Crystal Stone, okay, let's get into it, baby. Yeah. So your first card is the Ace of Water, a.k.a. the Ace of Cups, and it says emotions, relationships, and intuition, Okay. Your next card is the Three of Water, a.k.a. the Three of Cups, and it says Celebration, Community, and Friendships. Your next card is the Lover's card, and it says Relationships, Emotions, and Choices, okay? Also, we have the Knight of Fire, and it's known as the Knight of Wands, and it says Confident, Passionate, and Adventurous. And we also have the Queen of Water, also known as the Queen of Cups, and it says Loving, Giving, and Psychic. Now, for your Oracle Cards, Pile 3, we have Patience, and it says, I accept that everything happens in divine order. Your next card is the Empathy Card, and it says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. 
Your next oracle card is the risk card, okay? Your next oracle card says building blocks, okay? And last but not least, the world card. Now, let's get into it, baby. Yes, pal three. Let me start off by saying this person, your crush, is in love with everything about you. Mm -hmm. It's what I'm getting. Your crush is in love with everything about you, baby. And that's just that on that, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> I definitely feel like they're attracted to you on so many levels, all right? I don't even know where to start, but I'm going to get into it anyways, okay? Yeah, I don't even know where to start, pal three, but let go. Let go, baby. So, pal three, your crush thinks you're absolutely beautiful, you know, is what I have to say. Your crush thinks you're absolutely beautiful inside and out, okay? They think you have a beautiful mind, a beautiful soul, and a beautiful personality. Your crush loves how compassionate, loving, empathetic, and caring you are. They also love how fun, exciting, and adventurous you are as well. They feel like you're someone they would have a great time with and that there would never be a dull moment, okay? This person thinks the world of you is what I'm getting, pal three. They see you as being their ultimate wish fulfillment. You know, we do have the Ace of Cups out here, you know? So they definitely see you as being their ultimate wish fulfillment. We also have the Lover's Card, all right, out here. And with the Lover's Card, it is a soulmate card, and it signifies kindred, okay? It signifies kindred spirits and an intense bond between two people. So your crush, I definitely feel like your crush, pal three, I don't know if you feel like this, but your crush, some of you may not even know your crush. I don't know. But your crush feel like you're their soulmate, mm -hmm, for sure. They also, um, with the risk card, I feel like your crush, they also want to take a risk and move to the next level with you, all right? They may want to get out of crush phase. For some of you, if they're a friend, they want to get out of their friend stage. For some of you, they want to ask you out if they've never been on a date with you. It's just, it's something about they want to move to the next level. They want, don't want to stay where, where they are at right now. They don't want to be that, they see much, they see so much more with you. So they don't want to be that friend anymore. Or they don't want to be that just sitting back and crushing on you. They want to take some things to the next level, all right? They definitely do. All right? So before I eat your reading, pal, three, try not to make this reading too long today, y'all. I can't be too, too long, baby. But let's get some cards from my deck. I will be pulling from two of my decks today, all right? So we're going to get a couple card, a few cards from both of my decks today before I end your reading, okay? Let's scoot that over. Yeah, peaceful the first card that came out so your crush may see you as being someone who's very peaceful very chilled maybe very you know laid back at times or whatever or they feel like you know you would be very peaceful you know i have a loving card they hit the floor so they definitely that's confirmation they see you as being very loving they also see you as being their dream girl or their dream guy Your crush likes everything about you, pal three. Yes. <laughs> I feel like this confirmation, pal three. Your crush is a lot that your crush love about you. Your crush definitely see you as being someone who is beautiful inside and out. They're attracted to so many things about you. They don't even, the fact that I didn't even know where to start with this reading, but I just said, let's go, baby. I'm going to start wherever. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this crush, your crush wouldn't even know where to start with you. They wouldn't even know where to start to tell you what all they like about you. There's so many things they like about you. They wouldn't even know where to start to even express. You know what I'm saying? This to you, all right? What's this with unpredictable? Hmm, some of you may be a little bit mysterious to your crush, but they like that about you. They love that unpredictable, 
ability about you. They love that you're unpredictable. It says be positive no matter what. Your your crush may see you as being very positive. And I feel like they like that about you. All right. So some of you may have tattoos and your crush like that about you. Or a tattoo in particular. Your crush may have tattoos. All right. If not you. And your crush love your boobs for my women or your chest for my men. Okay. Your crush loves how you keep it sexy, baby. Your crush thinks you're very sexy. Your crush loves how you follow your heart, all right? Your intuition, your vibe. Your crush feel like you're the, your vibe, pal three. Your vibe. We only have what we give. Yes, confirmation to the Queen of Cups. Your, your um crush loves how giving you are. I think I'm in love. Oh, your crush... Your crush, they fell for you easily. They fell for you hard. I think I'm in love. Your crush may be in love with you, okay? May be very infatuated with you is what I'm getting. Not just in enamored, but infatuated with you, pal three, okay? And that's just that on that. Sexy lips. Your crush love your lips. They want to kiss on new lips, baby. And they love that ass, all right? Nice ass. They love that ass. We got 420. You or your crush may smoke weed, marijuana, Mary Jane. It's all the same thing. Or the number 420 could be significant to some of you, all right? Let me pull a couple more cards, and then I'm going to go to my other deck, okay? <clears throat> and so we have, let's see what's on the individuality. Your crush loves your individuality, all right? And that's just that on that. Your crush finds you to be very physically attractive. We have the beautiful card came out. Your tr uh, crush also see you as being very inspiring, all right? Now, power three, let's get some more from my other deck. Let's see what else your crush... Why else, you know, your crush is enamored by you. What else they love about you, okay? All right. Mm. Your crush loves, they love how you speak your mind, okay? We got this, you speak your mind. Some of your, you know, your crush may follow you. I feel like with the followers card, they may follow you online, social media. Some of you may be a good, oh, no, I thought that was good cooking, baby. It's a like good looking. Yeah, your crush finds you to be very physically attractive. attractive. Something about your hair, maybe the way you style your hair, the way you wear your hair, the length, something about your hair, your crush loves, okay? Your crush loves how friendly you are. Good looking came out two times. So let's just say that. We know for sure your crush finds you to be very good looking. It came out. It came out two times, y'all. Two times. Two times. Your crush is very physically attracted to you, Pat Three, and that's just that on that. <laughs> child, we got friendly came out again. Child, I didn't even know some of these had like you know twins to them. You know what I'm saying? In this day. I didn't even realize I made some of them two times, but we got friendly came out. So I just feel like this, your crush, love your personality or your, your vibe, your energy, your attitude. You just maybe a lot of you may be just friendly, upbeat, positive, just very positive is what I'm getting. And your crush really loved it about you. Okay. Cause friendly came out two times and we also have, wait a minute, y'all good looking came out three times. Y'all crush. Is so attracted to y'all physically, it don't make no goddamn sense, okay? Good looking. Your crush is very... Listen, what you need to know is your crush, they find you to be very physically attractive. If they don't know nothing else, baby, they know that they physically attracted to you. Damn, them up. it came out three times. What the fuck? The way you move. Your crush love the way you move. Now, for some of you, this could be the way you move in life, okay? Your mindset, the way you move in life. Some of y'all may move like a boss or something. But for others of you, your crush love to see you walk. They may love to see you dance. They just love the way you move, the way you sashay is what I'm getting, okay? Oh, for some of you, your crush said, I'll take good care of you, baby. And that's just that on that. For some of you, your crush want to take care of you. Oh, your crush may see you as being real as fuck, okay? And for my men, your crush, I feel like when I made this big feet card, this was for the men, all right? That's why I put it on blue at that. This is for men. For the men who chose this pal, your crush, they like your big feet, baby, because they feel like you got big meat. And that's just that on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
nice body okay yeah your crush pal three be checking out that body oh look what came out the nice body crush yeah your crush crushing hard you feel me for some of you your crush see you as being the whole package okay because they feel like you're beautiful inside and out okay it's just a lot about you they love you know all right now what was that let's see what the heck was that they hit the flow oh that was my beautiful inside and out card they hit the floor y'all so your crush really is attracted to you not just physically but internally as well like they like your mind body and soul baby oh period i feel like for some of you your crush they love that they, they feel like you have a beautiful soul and they like that about you all right body art for some of you you have tattoos or piercings that you're um crush really like about you and if it's not you who have it your crush may have some type of tattoos or piercings nice boobs they love that boot your boobies for some of you you may be plus size and your crush love that more cushion for the pushing baby they love it and that's just that on that kind confirmation to the queen of cups they love that they love how loving kind and generous you are they love that the compassion that you have and the empathy that you have well dressed some of y'all your crush love the way you dress baby they love this you feel me for some of you you don't look your age and your crush they love that as well for some of you they love your pretty eyes and for some of you mysterious something about you that is mysterious they love though they love it they love it they love that you hard to figure out and that's just that on that okay 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 for my man, you may be buff or something, and your crush is, your, your crush, ooh, I said crutches. Some of y'all got more than one crush, and that's just that on that. Your crush find you to be mesmerizing. For some of you, your crush may look up to you. For my men, they love your facial hair. For those of you who have facial hair, confirmation, nice body, pal three, they really like your body. The way you dress, they like the way you dress as well. For some of you, you do have a body piercing, and it's your nose. They like that. Positivity, they love your positivity in your nice features i feel like your crush love how naturally attractive you are pal three how naturally beautiful you are all right how naturally phys you know physically beautiful you are <clears throat> but also inside and out they really like that so um let me get some zodiac cards before you end your, before i end your reading i will say that some of you definitely may be a water sign or you have a water sign placement in your chart pisces cancer or scorpio Cancer, some of you may be a cancer with the moon card coming out. Yes, some of you look water. Some of you definitely may be a water sign, or you have a water sign placement in your chart, or your crush may be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Okay, or have a water sign placement in your chart. Oh, what's that, baby? Oh, we have Neptune. Neptune represents Pisces, so you or your person, your crush may be a Pisces. Okay. We have Jupiter. Jupiter represents Sagittarius. So some of you may be a Sagittarius or your crush may be a Sagittarius or you or your crush may have Sagittarius placement in your second house. Okay. Let me get a couple more cards. What's that? Virgo. You or your crush may be a Virgo or you may have a Virgo placement in your chart. We have Taurus. You or your person may be a Taurus, or you may have a Taurus placement in your chart. And we also have Jupiter, which represents Sagittarius. All right, Jupiter came out two times. Jupiter represents Sagittarius. You or your person may be a Sagittarius, or you have a Sagittarius placement in your chart. All right, let me get one more card. And we have Capricorn. You or your person may be a Capricorn, or have a Capricorn placement in your chart. All right, all right. So the number six, three. 29, 31, 18, and 10 may be significant to some of you. Now, the numbers I name could be your life path number, a lucky number, your age, birthday, or birthday month. But that completes your reading. That completes your message. If it resonated with you, pal, three, give it a like, comment, or subscribe. If it did not, feel free to check out any of the other pals. Also, feel free to go on my channel and check out my Pick A Card Messages playlist. All right, y'all? Until next time. <laughs>